What is going on guys? Welcome back to Fishing with Nordby. Coming at you with a little heavy heart today. Something has changed here at Fishing with Nordby. And you guys have been asking me to get Ned some, some structure and put some stuff in his tank and I've been wanting to for a while now. So I finally got around to it. I went and found some, some rocks that were clean and in some clear water and I found some driftwood too. I didn't want to just buy store-bought rocks or grass or driftwood. I wanted something legit and something that looks cool. So I went and, and found it and brought it home. I washed it real good. I looked up YouTube videos on how to clean rock or uh, rock and, and other things before putting them in your aquarium. Washed it with hot water tested the rocks with vinegar as that tests their acidity and make sure that the, the pH of your aquarium doesn't change. I, I thought I did everything right and I put them in the aquarium. The next day Ned passed away. So that's where we're at. In this video we're going to be catching a couple uh, new fish. The tank's been sitting here for uh, a few days now. Hopefully the water stabilized. That's what it looks like. Ned would have had the perfect structure. Perfect structure. That's driftwood. That's driftwood. These are rocks right out of Lake Gunnersville in some clear water. I've had minnows swimming around in here for days. They're doing all right. So really, I don't know what caused Ned to die. I don't know. Um, his skin got irritated and his scales and and just got reddish looking. It looked like his, his outer layer just wasn't accepting the new environment. I hate that, I hate that. Don't wanna kill fish here. Uh, but we are going to replace Ned. But I want to make sure the tank's good before we find another bass. You guys will have to help me name him. Uh, but in today's video, we are going to go catch panfish, bluegill, and a crappie hopefully. We're going for a bluegill and a crappie to put in the fish tank. And they're gonna love the structure. We may just keep them. We may keep them for good. If they live, we may just add a bass in there and have a bluegill crappie and a bass here at Fishing with Norby in the tank. So, if you, if you got a good name for the tank, Norby's tank, if you got a good name for the, the tank, let me know, Slaunch Tank. <laughs> no, that'd be Millikens. Uh, yeah, let me know. We'll, we'll name the tank, and then we're also going to name the fish we catch today a bluegill and a crappie. We're going to take the fly rod out there today. We're going to fly fish for a small to mid-sized one. I'll probably catch some big ones, but we're only putting a smaller mid-sized. Pretty, pretty bluegill, pretty crappie. Vibrant color, something looks good. We'll see what we catch when we get out there. We're going to go to the pond today and, and catch these, and then we'll name them. So. Let's get out there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. You're going to get to see all this unfold. And I appreciate all you guys. And I hate that. I hate that Ned never got to become Fat Ned. It's a bummer. But he is, he is gone. We'll get another one. Let's go catch some fish. Okay. Rained a bunch yesterday. Water is flowing in here. We will see. With all the muddy water. I brought the fly rod, but it's a little muddy for that tiny little ant fly. We're gonna start out with the old bobber, and I got an ice jig head on here, something tiny, and I cut a little crappie minnow down so it's tinier. Cast it right out in this little current and see what happens. Never really fished this water coming in like this. Looks good. Ooh, got hit. There he is. We got one, guys. That's a big and <laughs> what do we got? Oh, it's a crappie. It's not that big, but he's decent sized. That's a 10 incher. That's too big. That is too big. We need a little guy. Let's see if there's another one hanging over there. Mm -hmm. 
try a new spot around the lake. Too muddy. Came over to this side of the lake and it's clear. Might be able to use the old fly rod over here if this doesn't work. There's one. We're hooked up. We got us a bluegill. That one's going to go to the tank. All right. Look at that. That might be a little big. We'll see if we get a smaller one on the tiny little cut jig. Let me get some water in the bucket here. Let's we'll see if we get some more. We'll see what we catch. Other side of the pond here is super clear compared to where all that mud's coming in. First two casts, instant fish. That one's a little too big. That's a red ear. Ooh, it'd be cool to put a little red ear and a bluegill in there. He's a little too big though. Let's see if we get a smaller red ear. Get a red ear, bluegill, and a crappie. That'd be all right. There's another one. Oh, it's a crappie. Woo! That's a little smaller than that first crappie. This one is a black crappie. He's kind of skinny. He needs to be fed. We might feed him up. He's probably nine inches. A little bigger than I want. But he might go in the tank. See if we catch a smaller one. Another one. And that one is a bluegill. That's smaller. We're going to change out that first one with this one. Pretty. Pretty little bluegill. I'm going to put some more water in here too, I think. Not going to be out here too long. That water's cold. Yeah, smaller one. Okay. There's one. See what we got. Another red ear. Yeah, there's a smaller red ear. All right. So we got us a red ear and a bluegill and a crappie. Let's see if we can get a smaller crappie. There's one. Ooh, that's a small one. That'd be good for the tank. I think he's smaller than that first bluegill. That might be a female. The other one might have been a male. Swap him out. Swap him out. Little bluegill. How's he? We could do a female and a male. Yeah, let's throw the red ear back. Okay, that's the difference between a female and a male, guys. Vibrant, orange belly. Female is not vibrant. Let's get us a little bit smaller crappie. Okay, we caught our bluegill here and the crappie. We're gonna throw the crappie in first. Help me name him. We'll name him one of the upcoming videos based on your, your comments. There he is. <laughs> That's awesome. And then we got Mr. Male Bluegill and Mrs. Female Bluegill. Check that out. I'll be roaming around. So help me name them. That's awesome. Excited to get some more fish in there. We're gonna be putting a bass in there before long. But God bless you guys. Thank you for watching. Drop a comment down below, let me know. And we're gonna get out of here. We'll see you on the next episode here at Fishing with Norby.